Genesis by Leon Thomas. Leon G. Thomas III was born in Brooklyn, New York. He got into theater at a young age and started Broadway at 10 years old. He worked Broadway for three years before transitioning to TV in 2007. He was part of the Backyard against and iCarly before the role he's most known for on Victorious as Andre Harris. He started focusing on his music in 2012. He has dropped a few projects as well as guest appeared on albums. How do you feel about his latest EP, Genesis? Genesis by Leon Thomas. Lost the album artwork. <laughs> but I have it somewhere on this damn computer. Some mad shit on this computer. Somewhere, huh? Nah, it's, it's, it's at the top. There you go. How do y'all feel about this album artwork, man? Um, when I first took a look at it, I was just like, oh, okay. But I kind of like like the ambiance, I guess to say, it gives off. I'm not too fond of the colors, but I get what they were trying to do. Yeah, it's kind of trippy looking too. If yeah. you really look at it for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what? I guess it's the Genesis because it's starting in the woods. Could yeah. say that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the color. Uh, I don't care to talk about this album artwork for real, yeah, it's bro. Pretty it's pretty It's kind of boring. Yeah. Yeah. But I will talk about this music, though. Yeah. The flow yeah. of this album was really good. I thought it flowed really well. It's yeah. short. It's a little EP-ish. Mm-hmm. But... The way that it flowed, it just sounded really good. And I was really impressed because I wasn't really expecting any of this. Yeah, yeah. most definitely the way it started out and just how it kind of showed us a different side of him each time as each track developed. And I thought it had just a really consistent flow as well as like getting to know the artist if you never heard him before. Yeah. And I kind of wish some of the songs were longer. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah, because some of the songs I was just like, no. Nah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, as far as highlights, what were your highlights on this project? Uh, Sunken Place. I love Sunken Place. And um, Moment After, Blessing, Favorite. I love all, the whole album. I love every song. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with you 100%. <laughs> like when Buddy, uh, I thought that was him rapping. At yeah. first, because oh, I didn't see no, I didn't see Buddy's name featured on the song. Yeah. So when I was just listening, I was just like, "Oh, Leon Thomas can rap too." Yeah. And then when I looked at, <laughs> I was, it, I was just like, "Yo, this oh, dude is a beast." It's Buddy. Yeah. And then when I saw it was Buddy, I was yeah. just I went back and listened to it again. Like, oh, was Buddy singing on there as well? I don't know because it yeah, kind of felt yeah. okay. I kind of felt he was. Yeah. Because yeah. mm-hmm. I, I got that vibe too. But man, yeah, this whole project is just really impressive. I don't really have any low lights at all. But no, I don't. Because, like, everything is dope. Favorite came on. That bass line Favorite had me Favorite started locked. it off perfectly. Yeah. Like, I was just like, okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and then Pretty Little Weapon came in. And it Man. changed the whole vibe. It yeah. kind of had, like, a Lenny Kravitz vibe to yeah. me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sunken yeah. Place came in. And I immediately thought of uh, Get Out. Yeah. But yeah. it's on a different tip. He's made, like, the girls got him in a sunken place. I love yeah. how it was crafted, too. How it started off with that awkward, like, voice talking, and then he just come from right in with it. And, yeah. yeah, that was really dope. Yeah, every song on here is dope. He knocked this joint completely out of the park. Yeah, and I think Blessings was one of those songs where I wish it could have been longer because yeah, I was like, yo, too. this is dope. But then it cut off. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, I even liked hearing Elle Varna. I haven't heard from her in a yeah, long time. Yeah. She sounded great on that song. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I like, and I, oh my bad. And I like what he did with Miss Variety too, because it was yeah. like another different thing from this project. And I just loved everything about it, just how the beat and called it and everything like that. Mm-hmm. It was really dope. Yeah. yeah. Final thoughts, man. My final thoughts is this joint is amazing. I wish we could have got like five extra songs yes. yeah. on top of this, turn it into an album. It would have been good to go. I know in the you know era that we're living in now, a lot of people just like putting out little smaller projects mm-hmm. yeah. because it's you know something easy for people to consume uh but yeah this joint was the show is amazing yeah i want to see how like a full length album would feel from him yeah. you know yeah most definitely because he just he has the perfect pocket like you know if he can do this with seven songs i'm really interested to see what he can do with a full album because yeah. he has a really good creative vibe yeah yeah final grade man check check the hell out of this album this joint get check 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 like Every song gets a check. Yeah. Yes. Agreed. Checks all around. All around. <laughs> yes. For real, man. This is a dope project. You yeah. you'll you'll like every song on this project. If not, you'll like a good four, five. But you probably go like the whole thing. Yeah. And 
don't doubt him because he's from Nickelodeon. Like he got. Hey man, sick. some of the best people come from Nickelodeon. <laughs> don't be doubting Nickelodeon. Yeah, Ariana Shoot. Grande. Yeah. 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 I'm just saying, man. She's, no, she's not from Nickelodeon, right? Yeah, she is. No, she is. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Check this joint out, man. For real.